Hey guys, Rabbit here. Do you enjoy making your own builds in Last Epoch, but are frustrated that you can't find any good loot filters that'll cover it? Is the thought of making your own loot filter from scratch daunting or overwhelming? Well, today I'm going to be showing you a nice and simple tool that you can use to create your own custom color-coded loot filters that are simple and easy to read. And I'll also be showing you how you can edit those loot filters and add specific rules. That way you're not missing any of the items that are very important to your build. And one more thing that I wanted to mention before we jump in, I highly recommend that you create two loot filters. One for leveling, if you're planning on leveling this build using this loot filter, and another one for end game. The reason for that is because the affixes that you want while leveling and also the base types of gear that you want while leveling are most of the time going to be different than what you want from end game. So when you're making your end game loot filter, you can be a lot more restrictive on what you want to see, specifically centered around base items. Whereas leveling, you do still want to see the like lower level base types, so you don't want those hidden. So I would highly recommend making two. And then on that leveling filter, just be a little bit more lenient, add in all of the bases, that way you're not missing anything while you're leveling up. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So to start things off, we're going to be going here to lastepochtools.com, and we're going to be going to their loot filters tab here. So I will leave a link to this website in the description, and what you're going to do is we're going to go right up here to the top and do create loot filter. And as you see right here on this button, they have a loot filter wizard that will help guide you in your loot making process. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And then here for the filter title, we're gonna make one for our Frost Flask Falconeer. So I'll just type that in. And then right here in class, we're gonna go down and we will choose Falconer. And then for attack types, our Frost Flask Falconer is a dot throwing build so we're going to go to throwing do we use damage over time we're going to put yes because we only do damage over time that's the only thing we care about and we do cold damage here next you can go into the elements and you can look through these and add the ones that you want most of the time i skip these because you don't want to over clutter your loot filter but if there's one that's like really important like we can put poison in here because our poison chance is converted to uh, frostbite chance so we'll put that in there and then we do freeze so we'll go ahead and check that for skills we use acid flask and then we also use explosive trap those are like our main two so we can go ahead and put those in we do not use minions and we do not use channeled skills once you get down here into your equipment settings, this is going to be where you choose your like base types and everything. So we use daggers in this build. So we're going to go ahead and click dagger. And then for subtype, we use the chitin dagger because it has a chance of poison on hip. So that's what we use for our build. You can look through all of the different uh, bases here and just select all the bases that you want to see. But we already know that this is the base we want to see. So we're going to hit save. For offhand, we use offhand catalyst. So we're just going to save for this. We use a unique, so it doesn't matter. We're just going to leave that blank, right? For helmets, we use uniques, but we can, if we weren't using it, we could go down here and we could set a few other ones that we could do. So like we can put in this blood visage right here because it gives some damage over time. And then this will show only that base, right? For body armors, we can select the ones that we want here. We'll go ahead and just do necrotic res because we stack that. And then we'll go into the gloves. You know, we'll do some cooldown recovery speed because they're nice. And basically all you're going to do is just go step by step here and just select any of the base types we want, right? We can do Praetorian Belt for armor and then boots. We'll just do Haoborian boots because they have some nice cold res and good movement speed, right? So again, you can select multiple different bases. If we want to do all of these different boots, we can do that. Select all the subtypes and just go through and find all of the bases that are applicable to your build that you want to see. For the relic, we are going to do the poison relic. So we can type in poison, we see poison on hit. We'll just save that. For the ring, we're gonna want the necrotic res rings. We can also do the elemental resistance rings. Those are both nice. So we'll just say those two subtypes. And then for the amulet, we want the cold and freeze rate multiplier. So again, just go through all these bases, check all the ones that are applicable for your build that you wouldn't mind using, and then select all those, right? Once you get down here, these are the equipment affixes. So this is gonna be where we put any really important affixes that we want. As you can see, a lot of these are already put in, but if we wanna make sure that we see stuff with explosive trap, we can put that in. 
you know, acid flask, that level of acid flask and throwing speed. Um, we like freeze rate multipliers, so that one's already checked. And depending on what you select up here at the top, it will automatically select a bunch of these, right? So if we're gonna be a ward build, you know, we can check mark all the ward. And I would recommend not checking everything that you need, right? Because we can always craft later, and a lot of these items we're gonna want exalted versions of anyway. And so you don't want to overcrowd your loot filter with a bunch of like useless stats. That way everything is getting shown on the ground, right? But just go through these affixes, check mark the ones that you think are good and are very important. Like don't check mark a lot of the other small ailments like slow and frailty and then all the different types of health regen and health and endurance and armor and, and all that, right? Just select the really important ones that you need. Same thing for your idols. If there are any really valuable idol affixes, like we love the necrotic resistance ones, as well as you can do freeze rate multiplier and so on, right? And once you get everything selected, you've got everything in here that you want, you go down to create. And that's gonna create your loot filter just like this. And then from here, we can go to export and then copy to clipboard. Once we've copied it to the clipboard, we'll go back here in game. You can do shift F to open up your loot filters and then we'll do add and paste our clipboard contents. And then right here, we'll just name it frost flask test because we already have one named frost flask. And then you can change the icon that you want and the color. So we'll just set it like that. And now here is our loot filter, right? So to break it down, right here at the bottom with the bluery colors, this is gonna be your leveling gear. You can see it has a character level dependency of 0 to 25. So once you hit level 25, this will go away, right? And then as you scroll up, we have the green ones. This is going to show only items with greater than 3 tiers, and it's going to go up to level 40. Most of these rules are kind of useless. Um, they put them in for leveling, but I usually have the sleep filter on before that. Um, so you can always remove them later on. Then we're going to have... The yellow recolors are any items that match two affixes. And then for orange, it's two affixes that sum at least eight total tiers, right? So it'd be like two tier fours. And then lastly, we've got the red recolor up here, which is going to be if they have a total of like sum up of 10 affix tiers, right? So those are going to be like the good items that drop with affixes that you want that are also high tiers. And then they also have recolor items with high value affixes. So some of like the rare affixes, like percent health and stuff like that, things that you might want to pick up, right? And it's gonna recolor all of your idols here with all the affixes that you picked. And then it's gonna hide all of the uh, like class items that don't match your class. And then up at the top, it's gonna have, you know, show all exalted items, show all unique items, experimental items and so on. So right off the bat, you can just immediately start using this loot filter. However, there are a few rules that I would add to make sure that you're not missing anything important. So if we see here, all of these rules require that the item drops with at least two affixes on it. So that's gonna be a problem if you're looking to use runes of shattering and runes of removal on some of your gear to get your affix shards. So what I always do is I go to add rule and then you're going to add condition. I like to do recolor because I want to make sure I see it. I like blue for the important stuff because it's not a commonly used color. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and go to affix and say I want to make sure that I see every item that has levels of acid flask. So we're going to do level of acid flask, confirm. Any number of uh, tier is fine, right? One of these affixes you can go and select the tiers that you want. But I just wanna see everything with this, that way I can shatter it. And then all you gotta do is add it, and then right up here at the top of your filter, you see recolor all items with level of acid flask. So you should do this for any affix that you need affix shards for, right? The ones that you want to shatter and the ones that you want to use runes of removal on. And then when you have enough of those shards, you can always just go in here and just delete the rule. Same thing if you want to add more stuff, like if you want to see my other video and add some like valuable idols to your filter, you can always come down here and delete out these lower level 
um, parts of the loot filter, right? Because once you're in the end game, you're going to be past all of this anyway. And so you're only going to want to see yellow and above. And of course, this is all a baseline. You can edit this as much or as little as you want. But at least this will give you a good starting point for your loot filter. That way you're not having to try and find something online that someone else has made. Especially if you're making your own build, right? Because if you're following someone else's build, chances are they already have a loot filter made. Um, but I like making my own builds, so this is normally how I start each of them. So if I go back to Frost Flask, you can see if I scroll down, right? This was the start of a uh, of a like last epoch tools loot filter that i've sort of edited and, and added stuff as needed so i hope that was helpful and i hope that you can use this tool to make some nice custom filters that will help in your leveling process and help gearing out your characters as you make all the new builds in last epoch that you want so if this video did help you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel we're still trying to get that number up and again my name is rabbit Thank you for watching and keep an eye out for future content.